Hey, what's up, Beef Babes? Welcome to Beef Babes News Desk Hurricane Edition. We missed a week due to power and internet outages, but I'm very happy to report that we came through safe, healthy, and without damage. We never even lost power, which is really a miracle since we are in one of the worst hit areas, Sarasota, Florida. It's a testament to the people who planned and built our community. For our first segment, let's talk about staying carnivore or keto during a crisis or weather event. Of course, this preparation only rings true if you have advance warning like we did with the hurricane and didn't sustain catastrophic damage. We'll address unexpected events in a bug out bag for catastrophic damage in segment three. To stay carnivore during this hurricane, my husband spent a good portion of the day before cooking. He made a lot of chicken for himself and steak and burgers for me since I don't do well with chicken. He also made a couple of packages of bacon. While it's better warm and fresh, we knew we could eat it out of the fridge the day of the hurricane and into the next day. If we lost power, we figured it would still be chilled enough to stay safe through the day of the storm. Once the storm was over, we would be able to cook on our grill if we had no power, and we had two backup propane tanks, as well as meat frozen solid that would only just be thawing 24 hours later if we lost power. We also have a small fridge and freezer upstairs to store a bit of food in case the downstairs flooded and we have to move up to the second floor or attic. With this food prep, I was able to stay entirely carnivore during the hurricane. For segment two, I chose to feature this very sweet and beautiful lady whose video titled Slow Cooker Brisket and Gravy Keto and Carnivore Beef Brisket Recipe shows us how to make another carnivore dish that could be used for hurricane prep if you have enough notice. I love watching her videos because she seems so relaxed, calm, and happy, which is exactly what you need as a Category 4 hurricane is headed your way. Anita has a great personality, and she shares what she's learned on her keto carnivore journey to lose more than 100 pounds. A well-made brisket is one of my all-time favorites. Please check out Anita, the Ketogenic Woman's Brisket video. The link is in the description. Give her a like and subscribe if you enjoy her videos as much as I do. Instead of a single product for segment three, I'd like to focus on a company that could help fill your bug out bag with lots of keto and carnivore food that is non-perishable and doesn't need refrigerated if you lose power. I think they make the best pork rinds you can find and I had enough on hand that I could have lived on them for a week if it came down to it. I'm talking about Epic Provisions. They have shelf-stable, non-perishable meat bars and bites, pork rinds, meat snack strips, and bone broth. Fill up a tote at the start of hurricane season with enough to last each family member for several days if you lose power or have to evacuate your home. An awesome company to help ease the stress of preparing for an unfortunate event. For segment four's poll question this week, I'd love to know what products or preparations you use to stay keto or carnivore when there is a catastrophic event or unexpected crisis. Please share your tips, tools, and favorite companies or products. That's all for this week, my fellow beef babes. See you next time.